Hello everyone, Garnet here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended on Aberration. Between the last episode and this one, I've just kind of been working on the basilisks just a little bit. So the one that we hatched up last time had the stamina and weight. I was able to get a female that actually has the health and melee. So when she is fully up and grown, we'll be able to combine those guys' stats and hopefully have the perfect basilisk after that. There's one other thing that I decided that I wanted to build, and uh, that was somewhere where I could breed all of my larger creatures. And uh, I built this over here. I decided I wanted to try and use something that was more specific to uh, aberration tech, but turns out there was a reason I never built this. <laughs> I've got to sit here and tap E a bunch of times, every single time it goes up a section, until we reach the top. So... <laughs> I'm probably going to replace this with this normal metal elevator eventually. As you can see, I do have a generator kind of behind this up here. So I could actually power the uh, cliff platform that I placed. Sorry, we'll, uh, we'll meet you at the top here. Oh man, that took a lot longer than it probably should have. Okay, so it took me a while to figure out actually how to make this work because I didn't see this right off in the engrams, but I realized it was just part of the tracks. So I just had to change the... Uh, I had to change the setting there, but um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to switch back just to a normal metal elevator so I don't have to worry about this. There is a generator down there that should cover this whole area. Speaking of this area, like I was saying, I'm wanting to use this to kind of breed up all of our creatures that I don't want to be kind of in the way down there. Obviously, I'm not done with the full-on layout of this place, but I'm going to name this the plate. So anytime that we bring anything up to the plate, they're going to be uh, kind of breeding to get their mutations done. And it'll be an easy way to kind of have some larger creatures just continue their continue going without having to be in weird, awkward places. But uh, that is that is kind of the thing. At least when you're going down, it does go all the way. I mean, it makes sense if you didn't have if you weren't high enough level to make the full on metal elevators. But uh, at this point in time, I definitely have all the materials, so I may as well just make that. But I figured I'd try it out just because I could. With that all being said, though, the goals for today are well, there's a few. The first one I want to try to do is I want to go down and maybe actually find ourselves a couple of bees to tame. Because we need some honey. Because I was trying to get the uh, eggs and everything together to make the kibble that we need to do the second thing. Which is to go out and tame ourselves a couple of high level carcanos. Because I would really love to be able to start breeding one of those up and get some crazy colors on them. And uh, it's been something I haven't really quite done yet. So we're going to go do that. And then there is the third and final thing that I'm kind of planning on doing, and it actually has to do with this spot right here. The cave that is down in the red zone, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, is pretty trivial if you have a rock drake and you have the a good amount of stamina set on there. So what I'm wanting to do today is I want to hatch up one of our perfect ones. Let's take a drink of water so I'm not dying. I'm going to hatch up one of the perfect stat ones. And while I when I do so, we're going to let it grow up while we're doing the rest of the other things. And then we'll take it out, level it up a bunch of times to uh, be prepared to go into the cave. And then we'll run and grab ourselves the third artifact, so we'll be prepared for that in the future. So I'm going to bring you guys back when this thing hatches. And then I'm going to kind of come up with a plan for when we go out to try to find ourselves two. I'm going to aim for two giant queen bees. So we at least have a good amount of honey at most, if not all the time. So we got ourselves and one of the perfect stat males here, looks like. I'm going to kind of pull them upstairs. So we can kind of get them separated away from the basilisks. You know what? I actually first need to make sure that I turn the uh, over raptor back on to collecting eggs. Because we don't want anything else to happen. Okay. So we're going to leave you here. I'm going to definitely have to go down into the blue zone a little bit. Just to get a little bit of uh, the nameless venom. Because I don't have any at the moment. But we'll just take Gale with us. I'm not carrying too much army right now, Gale. Oh, I left the ravagers going again. Still not a mutated one. I do have one that has a stamina mutation, and it came up with kind of a darker, more grayish blue on their stomach, which kind of works with the other blue color that we found. So I do have that one in a cryopod. Alright, Gail. Yeah. Try that again. Are you holding anything too crazy? You are holding a good amount of meat. I think I'm going to cook all this, because I don't want it to go to waste. But I don't really need the rest of this stuff. I'll just leave it here. I'll just go down on foot. Why not? So we're going to let this one raise up. We'll bring it back some Nameless Venom so we have options for it to be imprinted. And then the Basilisks should be ready pretty soon. 
Oh, and another thing that I did do was I cleaned out a lot of the creatures that we really didn't need in the cryopod so I could free some up. And uh, in doing so, I actually got ourselves some pretty good traits. Uh, apparently, the level 13 Cosmo that I had had King Slaying Tier 3, which is insane for a trait, but it was kind of being wasted on a Cosmo, unfortunately. Too bad you can't move this onto something else. We do have Vampiric for a Dire Bear and Tenacious and stuff like that for the Megalosaurus. So we have a couple of other, other options in here for stuff, and it's kind of interesting the kind of things that you'd find. But, um, yeah, just figured I'd at least mention I did that. Right, and as I am lowering myself down here, if you guys do end up finding yourself enjoying this one, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, leave a comment about what you're feeling about this series, what you're feeling about Aberration in general. I always love to hear from you guys, and uh, it always means a lot to me. Okay, so we've gotten Gale out. We're going to head down just kind of get ourselves a little bit of Nameless Venom. Hopefully shouldn't run into anything too crazy. Now that I've hit this part, I should have some of the Nameless try to come out on me really soon. This is about how far down you want to be for those to think for those things to start spawning on you. Hello, big guy. Just kill them all as I can. We're gonna get some venom soon enough, I'm sure. Maybe I should try to get Noir onto uh, aggressive anyway, just in case. I don't know how long that the, the uh, alpha ones need to be around before they cause a reaper. No, either way, it looks like I'm taking care of these guys pretty quick, even without the light. We've got a little bit of Venom. Alright, six is probably good enough. Let's get out of here before we push our luck any further. Okay, so you are wanting to go for a walk with me. Let's do that real quick. Awesome. 83%, not bad. We'll just leave you here for now. I have some of the Nameless Venom that I want to put into the Preserving Bin just so that we'll be prepared in case he asks for it. Pretty sure he'll survive without the need of any, but we'll have it just in case. So now that he's all hatched up and is taken care of on his nameless venom needs, we're going to go find ourselves a couple of queen bees. We need to get ourselves permanent sources of honey instead of trying to rely on going and grabbing a little bit here and there with the bear. I want to have some nearby at all times, so we're going to keep an eye out for that. And if we have to fight some yulings, then so be it. At this point in time, my rifle should be more than capable of taking things out, so we'll just kind of keep an eye out on these trees. kind of wish I could scan for bees, but unfortunately I cannot. I did check. But I did see a couple hives when I was flying around before, so hopefully I'll find those again pretty quick. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a fun thing. Let's not deal with that one. Yeah, I'd much rather deal with the Yee Leagues than those, to be honest. I mean, we have some now, so that's great, but... I didn't see what level were you. Of course, you're a 145 male now. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> we we have our pair up there, and they're breeding up to get the final stats. And I think that ours are really strong, so I'm not worried about it. It's fine. I'm not upset. I feel like I want to check that hive that I actually have a mark on now. Because I checked one on the cluster, and it did not make the noise, but it had a bee in it. So, I may go ruin the only thing I have, <laughs> just to see if I was wrong. Is our platform still over here, by the way? I mean, something to destroy it by now. Oh no, it's there. Oh, there we are. Our platform's gone. It's been destroyed for sure. You can see the remnants right here. That's what I get for building with Thatch. I don't know if it's going to let me do this. Hup. Oh no, it dropped it on the ground somewhere. <laughs> no, it didn't. It tried to, but failed. What is the deal? That's like holding it way out there. I mean, I can hear the buzzing in here. It's just not making that um, kind of like commanding noise. I don't know. Did it work? It, I think it did. And there was no bee in it. Okay, so I did, in fact, just ruin the one good spot I knew about. Okay. <laughs> that sucks, but at least we know for sure. So if it doesn't make that noise, it doesn't actually have a queen in it. All right, well, we definitely have a uh, long search ahead of us then. I probably should have tried to steal from it first. At least once. Oh, oh well. It is what it is. 
Okay, hopefully one of these ha these trees has a hive on it. Oh, I went to that really fast. <laughs> I shouldn't just swing like that. I need to make sure if I'm going to do that, I need to stop my momentum. There we go. If you don't stop the momentum, it's going to fling you right back from where you came from. How about this one? It's not making the noise. It's also mostly inside, so I'd be worried if it actually did. If it would, uh... If it would end up just falling inside. Okay, so I grabbed five in there. It didn't... Oh, shoot. That's something different. <laughs> that's not... That's not the problem I expected. I'm just gonna lay here and wait for it. It's only got five seconds. Okay. So we just got ourselves some honey out of that instead. It didn't make the noise, so I'm assuming that it probably is not going to be one that has a bee high, uh, actual bee in it. I feel like I should probably blow it up just because I can't help myself. Oh, that's not going to hit it. That's on the bottom of the tree. Oh, boy. Oh, I almost got myself again. Be more careful, dummy. Did it get it? I don't know if it actually got where it is. Oh, I'm going to do it again. Uh Shoot. <laughs> I need some mushrooms. I'm just being dumb. That's actually going to kill me if I'm not careful. If it does it again and I don't have mushrooms, I will die out here. And that would just be super foolish of me. I'm wasting I'm wasting C4. Are we gonna get something coming out if I shoot this? No bees came out of that. Okay. Let's not waste our time. Let's just move on then. Oh, there's two here. There's two here. I didn't hear the noise, though. Can I just steal? I can and did. And there's another hive here. Do you have an actual bee in there? No, you don't. But I'll definitely take the honey anyway. We may not have any luck actually finding a bee here right now, but at least we have enough honey to go make the amount of kibble I can do right now. It's something. I'm going to keep up the search, though, for a little bit longer. At least I'm finding hives. I think the last ditch effort is going to be double checking out in the Fertile Lake area. I know there's a lot of trees over there, and it may be a lot of looking around, but if I'm lucky, I might find one right off. Aha! There's a there's a hive over here. Please tell me I hear the noise. I'm pretty sure it would have made it already if they were here. We're gonna use another one of these. I'm gonna steal the, the honey and move on. Oh no, bees actually came out of this that one. Okay, there actually might be a queen in there. Fantastic. Also, not great, because I can't see. <laughs> Okay, there's actually bees in this one. That's good to know. We're going to give it a second for the hive to calm down. And I'm going to try to blow it up. Maybe I'll have the rare flowers in here just in case. We may have actually found one. Fantastic. Actually, it was not that far into the Fertile Lake area either. What is the deal with the flashing lights, though? Let's, try, let's just focus in on trying to get the bee done. All right, I wonder if I can time this right. Oh, that one put that put one down. I don't know if it actually landed on the hive or on the ground, though. Let's kind of get away a little bit. Oh man. Oh, why did someone down over there? Did it just blow up the rock that was getting me up there. Come on. Okay, that one should have been on it. It has to be. Ah, oh, come on. Maybe we'll just have to use the metal arrows as well. I don't know how many shots I'm going to have to take to actually kill this thing, but... Uh, kind of get ourselves a little bit distant for a minute. I can't even see them. It's really dark. Oh, that's not good. I'm just a man with spider powers, okay? Don't worry about me. <laughs> it looks like it's pretty hurt, but it's not broken yet, obviously. I don't really have a way to see how much health is on that thing. Here, we're going to gamma up because this is so damn dark. There we go. Now I can see a little bit better. Get the hive, not the bees. <laughs> they are still after me regardless. Did that break? 
That acted like one broke. Oh my gosh. Were there more than one? Yeah, there's more than one and she's stuck right there. That's a little bit concerning. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to sneak up to that bee. That's probably why it was acting funny and I couldn't get... Oh! It's freed though. She's free. I can't see <laughs> anything. Okay, so I'm thinking she's on the other side of the tree. Oh! I hear her now. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. Okay. Thank goodness. I just didn't see where she ran off to after that. Still have bug repellent? Yes, I do. This is going to be difficult to actually pull off because she's just so covered in the bushes. Why are you running so far away? Crazy bee. No. Why are you in the sky? That's not good or helpful. I'm going to drop down where she's going. I'm stuck in a hole. Run, Peppy! Yes! <laughs> we got a bee. I'm putting you straight into a hive. Thank you very much. That's one. Let's see if we can find ourselves one more. Ow. Oh, lovely. I'm just going to pull myself up this way. Freaking ravagers. Just ready to bite me at any point, aren't you? Oh, there's another hive right here. No bees came out of that. So we know this one does not have any uh, any bee in it. I wonder if any of the other two hives that were on that one tree actually have it. Because if so, that'd be crazy. Honestly, with how much running around I just did trying to uh, escape the wrath of those bees, I don't even remember which tree it was. This is a different one. Oh. Ow. Well... I should have done the... well, this. Should have done this. But that one actually does have some uh, have some bees in it. Very promising. Still have some C4 I could probably use to get up there and uh, set it off. Maybe. I was able to do it once. I could probably do it again. Be a lot easier than wasting a bunch of arrows and bullets, though. Should wait for these things to all die off first and try it. How did that not damage that at all? That was definitely a direct hit. I don't know how that didn't count. Holy crap, I'm on the hive. I almost just ate a rare flower. Alright, I don't know how that didn't count. <laughs> that literally should count. Doing the same thing you did on the center. Oh well. I mean, I have ways to destroy it. I'd rather not waste all the ammo, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, broke. I see the queen bee over there. Fantastic. Okay, so we still have the bug repellent for, 40, for 400 seconds. Queen bee went this way. She's right there. Kind of in an okay spot if I go and spam now. <laughs> no, they're gonna get me from that. Alright, hold on. Gotta give it a sec. Just going to mark it so I have an idea where she is. We don't want to lose out on her. Leave me alone. We still... Ugh. No, no, no. You guys... Guys, screw off. Little bees, I don't need you to bother me. You may have slowed me down from getting to your queen, but you haven't stopped me at all. Maybe those little bees did stop me from getting their queen. Oh no, right there. Hold on. Hold on, that's one of the small ones. Run! <laughs> and that's two. Fantastic. That worked out a lot better than I had, thought. I had hoped. So, I'm going to save the game, so we have no chance of losing anything. I can remove that honey tree marker, because unfortunately, unfortunately it wouldn't have even mattered anyway, because it's gone. But we have two beehives that are going to be making us honey, as long as I remember to put uh, rare flowers in their hives pretty continuous, continuously. But with the um, pull it mod, at least I don't have to worry about actually sticking my hand in there very much. I am stuck. I'll just bring you back when we get back home. 
probably should have. Ugh! No! Shit! 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 <laughs> I pressed the wrong button! And then I had the raptors bite me! Oh no, that's awful. That was actually really close to death. Oh, I should have tried to be more careful with the swinging. And then I didn't take the rare flowers off the thing when I was hurting. Oh, man. I... That was a horrible, horrible thing. Okay, so we've made it home safe and sound. Ignore the fact that I'm practically dead. <laughs> we have the snakes up and going as well, which is awesome. I'm pretty sure I had them just start breeding as soon as they were... Yep, so we have an egg from them. Fantastic. I'm going to go set down these hives somewhere over here. And then we'll use one more of the uh, bug repellent so I can put some rare flowers in them so they don't uh, have any problems. Ah, uh, forest. If only you were here. Could have saved me from all that. <laughs> I should have gone around on something instead of on foot. Can I fit these in the middle of this? I could just put them right here. I don't feel like there's a need to put them over by forest. Right here is fine. Awesome. So let me go grab a handful of rare flowers and split them between both of those. We'll have honey going constantly. Here's 150 for you and 150 for you. Should hold you over for a while and I'll just kind of keep grabbing them and refilling that as necessary. But that does definitely put a nice little uh, end to the need of the farming there. Put all that I have currently inside of the fridge. I should have a good amount on Noir now. I mean, I can make ten, I think. If I tell this to make ten of the kibbles. I already brought all of the uh, extra eggs from before. Yeah, let's make ten. That will do nicely. Then how is my rock drake do? Oh, no, I missed out on the... I did actually miss out on your other imprint, because I was out looking for bees for too long, huh? Well, you know what? That's fine. You will do just fine. And in fact, I'm going to move these snakes outside because they are literally taking up my entire base main floor. This is why I made the plate. Stuff for this, stuff like this. Uh, you'll be able to mate in 10 minutes anyway, so we got some time to kill. Well, regardless, I think you'll still be just fine. We'll worry about trying to get one when it's fully imprinted when we actually have a color mutation that we want to hold on to for a long time. Oh. Uh... All right, where'd I put that other Yi link that I used to kind of climb stuff <laughs> occasionally? You know what? I think they're actually already up there. I used the Yi link to kind of travel up and around to get this thing crafted up. And I'm pretty sure I may have left them up there. Is that... Do we have an, an animal up here? No, I don't. Where'd you go? Um... Uh... Well, okay then. I made it up here either way, so we'll throw the snakes out up here. I'm going to have to give the five minutes in between, though, so they don't end up having problems. And I think I'm going to grab the uh, that oviraptor that I had uh, I was going to use for the rock drakes before. And I'll bring it up here, and it'll be better for collecting these eggs. Well, I thought the other things were going to take a lot longer, and I also thought you were going to take a lot longer to grow up. So... Plans have changed for now. I still want to get a Carcanos, or at least a pair of Carcanos, but the first thing I want to do is I want to get the saddle. Where did I put the saddle? I think it might actually be on one of the parents out there. The saddle is pretty good as well. I'm not going to worry about getting Hercule out. We're going to just put this on to this guy. Oh, why must you do that sometimes? Just press E just a little bit too early, and it decides to put everything away. So since we're going to have to send him out with a cryopod, I'm... Going to level him up using a bunch of the Megalosaurus eggs. That's kind of the plan, anyway. Should have plenty to go through. We're still trying to get those mutations up and going. Does not look like there's any 244s here. Ooh, 360 from a partially imprinted rock drake. That's not horrible for a, for a uh, base attack. And that gave us 41 levels, which is nice also. So I put a lot of levels into the stamina, also a lot of levels into health. So he's going to look like he's really hurt here for a bit, but I'm going to level him up even more. The main thing that I need him to do is be able to stay invisible for an extended period of time. So uh, I'm going to level him up more and probably put more points in stamina after that. Okay, still not seeing any 244s. Are you still in the pet mode? Yes, you are. All right. Have at it. Bonk. 2,500 
stamina should be pretty good. We're going to add more melee just in case we do get in a tight spot and we're going to need it. So I leveled again from that as well, level 96. That does give us some uh, shocking trank darts for trying to knock certain things out, which is nice. We're going to do another round of the Megalosaurus eggs, and I think after that I'm also going to hatch the... We're going to hatch the Basilisk egg and see if we're able to uh, get the combined stats there. Ooh, that one's got some crazy colors and is 244. Uh, any chance you happen to get more melee? I don't think so. 349? What were we actually at with this one? Aw, oh, that's disappointing. Pretty cool cyan. I mean, we already have the colors that we want together. I don't really think that that one's any better than the ones we already have, so... We shall... Unclaim. Alright, so that was the rest of the Megalosaurus eggs that we have for now. Um... Melee damage it is. Alright, the Basilisk will be out in literally a minute and f eight seconds. Okay, so sounds like we got another snake level to you. 212, I don't think that's going to have everything. I'm pretty sure that both of them were higher level than that, so we'll see what we do have. Yeah, it's missing the health. In fact, what happened to my little notepad? It has the stamina. It does not have the melee. And it doesn't have... It does have the weight. So it has the stamina and weight. Which I'm pretty sure I did not need any kind of combination for that, so... Basilisks don't seem to do a whole lot of experience. Not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna keep healing up this Rock Drake. So he's mostly healed now. I just kind of fed him four stacks of cooked meat, and, uh... That pretty much did the trick. I guess technically on any standard one, that would be about 20 stacks of cooked meat, though. So, uh... <laughs> keep that in mind. I do still have my stacks at five times, despite the weight not being affected. So, I need to go let out the other Basilisk. Definitely don't want to go up there the other way. And we're going to use the Yiling instead. Hello, Red Yiling. Let's land up here. We gotta let out the other Basilisk so they can breed. I need to put up rails. Uh, <laughs> no. Well, we'll get up there in a minute. You wait for me right there. So this other one out over here, and then after a few minutes, I'll go grab the Overaptor that should be in the middle collecting from them. You're not going to just... Oh, yeah, you should reset since I put you in cryopods. No worries. So I'm going to have to give it five minutes before we can take the Rock Drake out and head down towards the cave, as planned. So now, what I want to do is I'm going I'm to grab kind of everything that I'm thinking I need to trap a Carcanos... And we are going to go and maybe, like, either scout one out or actually try to knock one out. It depends on what we find. Okay, so, I know that you can use a catapult to knock out a Carcanos, and uh, you can also use a cannon. I'm bringing a cannon. I hope that I don't accidentally kill it, but I guess we'll see what happens there. Oh, I should probably grab the kibble just in case. I wouldn't have to rush back here. I wouldn't want to have to rush back here if I can already just have it on me. Yoink. Let's go. Let's go scout our potential crabs. What level are you? 135, not bad. It does have angry. That's kind of nice normally. 15, not quite as good. I don't feel like it's going to be as hard finding ourselves a good pair of Carcanos than it was for the Basilisks, considering I've seen quite a few high levels along this river. And they kind of go along most rivers throughout this, to be honest, so... We'll have to see, though. The game might decide to be cruel now that I'm finally looking for some. It's an 80, a 30. I mean, the 135 or the 130 that was over there is not a horrible idea to try to do, just in case. But I just want to do some scouting while we have some time. What about you, swampy one? 145, aggressive. That sounds pretty good. Aggressive sounds like a good Carcanos one, for sure. Uh, let's take care of this Spino, though. What level are you? 20? Not a big deal. I'm not even hitting you anymore. <laughs> and you're healed again. Lovely. And you're dead. Cool. Thank you. It's proved a point. Uh, okay, well, I think if one shot... I think one shot to the face would be enough, right? With a cannon? I'm also a little concerned the one shot in the face might kill it, but I guess we'll have to figure that out. 
<laughs> so let's see. I place one here. And we kind of put one at an angle this way. And one at an angle this way. I should have probably brought enough to actually fully encase the thing. Oh well. We'll see if this works. It has been a long time. It's not how I did this in the first the first place. I know that some traps are a little different now, so I kind of am trying to keep it more open. So it's not going to act funny. Whoa! I didn't realize there were s like seven of them. I knew there were some, but not that many. Look, we've got some extra abilities and powers and stuff, but not... Not that. That's a lot. Yeah, let's get some re let's get some reloading up and going. Oh, cool! We landed on more. At least you're the low level. <laughs> oh, hello, Carno. Kill them! Kill them all! We'll just have to keep an eye on our health. We do have a pretty good saddle, so I'm a little concerned, but not that concerned. At least we can kill the raptors with headshots. And then it'll just be the Ravager left. Stupid bleeding, though. I, that's the worst part of all these freaking creatures, man. <laughs> they just cause so much bleeding. Alright, I think that takes care of everything that's going to be a nuisance around here. Yes? No? Maybe so? I don't know. Okay, let's try to set this up right here, though. Try to avoid anything. Oh, hello, Ravager. Well, I'm glad you didn't decide to just bite me for some reason. That would have been rude. There, of course, a level 145, dude. <laughs> what are the odds of these things showing up when I don't? When I'm not after them? They'll have to be the max levels, or almost max levels. Okay, is that officially all of it now? <laughs> One would hope. All right, Karkanos, are you still even over here? Are you gonna walk up into my area if I set up this cannon? Is this even a good idea? Who knows nowadays? All right, let's see. This is lined up right to go in the middle. Probably gonna have to aim up a good amount. Maybe we'll go with two. That's probably enough. Now, if I, we're gonna put a cannonball in there. Now, if I go towards the Karkanos, and I get its attention, and it starts going over this way, is this going to work? Hello, Karkanos. Focus on me, please. That's not the right spot. Where did I put the trap? <laughs> I'm a fool. Hello? What does that say for aggressive? Whenever this creature deals damage to not an allied target, it gains movement speed. Nice. That's actually kind of... That's kind of really nice. Hello? You still after me? Or are you too focused on stuff over there? I don't want to, like, shoot at you to make you annoyed with me, but at the same time... Hi. Don't grab my bird. Hmm. Do I need to clear out these trees? I might have to clear out these trees. I think it's getting a little confused as to where it's supposed to go to try to get to me. Unless that's not what it's trying to do. Now are you going to focus on me? You still don't care. Why? Hello? What are you doing? Hello? Karkanos, why are you being silly? What is going on with these things, man? Why does the Karkanos not care? Hello? You gonna follow me now? You're a 145, I can't just let you just walk off. What are you doing? Hey. This seemed like a pretty good spot to set it up, to be honest. It just doesn't want to... It doesn't even care. Why do you not care, Karkanos? These guys are normally very aggressive towards me. 
Something is very strange. I'm gonna pack it all up. We're gonna figure out what this thing is doing. I had to fight really hard for this spot, and he just walked away? They're aggressive, too. They're supposed to be. That's what it literally has as a straight. If it's not gonna care about me, maybe I'll just put the uh, things right on top of it if it comes up on the surface. On the beach. Words. Oh, wow. There's a Cosmo over here that is not happy about some of these things. I see you down there. You're, like, in the ground. Ah, oh, I've hit it now. No. It's a, I mean, I don't know what level it is, but... Is that you? Are you actually coming up after me now? Yeah, it's the one. I'm very confused at the moment. You're on the ground. Can I just do this? I didn't mean to attack you, Cosmo. I'm sorry. Are you stuck in there now? <laughs> you silly, you silly Carcanos. I literally do not know why. I'm sorry, little Cosmo. I didn't want to attack you. Oh, you're not stuck at all. Okay, good to know. Maybe I can set up the trap properly now that you actually care about me? I don't know what happened differently now. Why this is the time where you decide you can attack. Because you didn't want to do anything before. You don't care still now, do you? What the hell? What the hell? I mean, it tried to get up over here. I don't know... Okay, so it looks like it's after me now. Maybe. This is promising. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Dude. Why? Karkanos. Let me get your attention if I shoot you with my Cosmo. Or you still don't care? Hello? Oh no, I'm in the water. With a hungry Karkanos. Whatever can I do? Wow. Well, that's really strange. It's driving me a little bit bonkers that this thing is just doing what it's doing. I don't get it. Now it's even choosing to fight a Stego. I don't know why it's choosing to fight the Stego randomly. It wouldn't fight me. I'm legit confused. It's not even fighting the Karkanos very well. I mean, the Stego very well. You're supposed to be aggressive, Karkanos. Oh, are you following me? Did I kill everything else around here but, you know, my bird? Dude. You've got to be kidding me. Over here, Karkanos. Oh, man, are you finally going to do it? No, you give no craps about this? Come on, dude. You after me? Or are you just after something else? Whoa! I'm really surprised that this actually happened, but he just walks right around it. She. She just walked right around it. She doesn't actually care that much. We're going to pick up the cannon. I didn't even have a cannonball in there. That's probably what got in the way of me actually just firing. Honestly, we probably could just go line this up over there and just hit it on the side of the... Hit it from the side of the river if it's not even going to move. Uh, of course, I'm hallucinating again. Come on. I don't even have any mushrooms to heal myself with. Oh, cool. Now you're after me. Are you actually? Like, did you decide that, yeah, now I'm going to wake up and attack stuff? Or is that just a coincidence? You just happen to go near a fish that you wanted to hit, or what? There's a fish. Hello. Oh, that's impressive. You actually did it. <laughs> you are actually after me. That's fantastic. Now I need to set up the trap somewhere. But it's going to stop following me, though, as soon as I... <sighs> as soon as I escape from it. I feel like they used to be overly aggressive. Like, they would follow me anywhere. And now I have to kind of be coaxing this thing to even try to attack me. What is the deal here?
I'm gonna kind of do this thing right here. <laughs> See if I can keep her in place. Ow. Can you move? Can you escape? Ah, uh, you jumped and you kind of... Yeah, you got out. You got right out. Alright, Karkonos. Oh, they can just get out of any of those. You can't do that anymore. Oh, cool. Can I even get out of the claws or am I just going to die? Because I don't want to kill it, obviously. I want to knock it out. Now you care about me. Why'd you do this now? Took you long enough. Would you let go of me, please? This is not how this was supposed to go. Would you let go of me? I'd rather not kill you. Alrighty. Sorry. Man, that was the worst Karkdos attempt I've ever had in my life. Uh, we may not worry about Karkonos right now. I cannot believe that. <laughs> did not give a crap. And then she did give a crap. And then... I couldn't get out of it, so... Uh, disappointing. And I even told my... I even told my Yiling to run away. Just because I'd rather her get away instead of just take hits for free like I just was. Alright, where'd you end up? Not that I'm all heavy and carrying too much that I shouldn't be carrying. I'm so confused. Is that something that was supposed to happen? Ignore me for so long and then just focus directly in on me and never be able to let me go? I tried everything I could that wasn't killing it. Until I had no choice. <laughs> uh, attempt one on the Karkonos fail. At least we didn't die, even though we were very close to dying. Okay, so I've given it a minute so I can heal up a little bit myself, and uh, we're just going to go straight on to the other objective, and we'll try the Karkonos out at a different time. But we're going to take this Rock Drake, who is now fully healed, and I'm going to add even one more point into his stamina. We uh, have already changed to our hazmat gear, and we have an entire set here. It's not 100% repaired, so hopefully this is going to be okay. Our, uh, our objective is kind of in the deepest part of the red zone. Kind of right down here, if I remember correctly. But uh, we need to go and find ourselves this cave, which is called the Element Vault. And uh, like I was saying, with a Rock Drake, as long as you use the uh, Invisibility ability, you'll actually be able to sneak pretty much straight up to the end of the cave and then just grab the artifact and get out. I actually just remember that there's also potentially Feather Lights in that cave from uh, when I went there on Evolved. So I'm going to take the seeds with us, just in case we have an opportunity to tame some of them. It's not always the best uh, best uh, idea to try to uh, tame them in the cave, but if we're going in the red zone anyway, this may be our opportunity to actually uh, tame a couple of those. Okay, so without further ado, let's figure this out. I've got the light clapping thing turned back on for the light pet, and I've got Silva back on us instead of Noir. Hopefully we'll be able to find this straight up. I know I shouldn't be trying to dive downward. This is more of an outward cave experience. It's not really down deep. Let's see. Just make sure I'm still going the right direction. I think I am. It has been a long time, though, so hopefully we can find this relatively smoothly. I may have to uh, take a couple breathers here and there. But I'm going to probably turn the light on now. I'm going to have to alternate between... Ooh, hello, Feather Light. Alternate between uh, having the light on and off. Ooh, level 60 and a level 120. Not bad, though. I'd love to have some Feather Lights. They are in a very risky place, though. I mean, I'm pretty sure that it's back towards this direction. This looks like it would be where you would go to go to a cave in the deepest parts of the red zone. I mean, this cave is possible on foot, but obviously if I can avoid it, that's that's going to be our better option here. I saw there was a yellow drop over here, and I kind of want to check it. Oh, wow, it looks like there's a reaper right there. Never mind. <laughs> Let's not check that. <laughs> that's not really my highest priority. Oh, this reminds... This is... This is, uh... 
Sparking some memories here, this layout. I'm pretty sure... Is this it right over here? Oh, yep, this is it. This is definitely it right here. Okay. Good times. So, let me just make sure I get all my stamina back. Hopefully we won't, don't get attacked by anything right here. I don't see any seekers, so maybe I'll want to have my light on. I'm also going to change this to feather lights while we're out. Because I'd rather that be on, just in case there's a good one. While we're in the cave. Like I said, it has been a while since I have done this cave, but I do remember with enough stamina on a rock drake and just walking pretty much past everything, I should be able to get to the artifact with pretty much nothing in my way except for whatever is on the artifact itself. So... Invisible? Go for it. This cave looks pretty cool, though. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I remember. Uh, let's grab the wall. Do I have to... Okay, I would have thought that it would do that by itself, but no, it's not. <laughs> oh god. That could have been really bad just there. I am not, uh, still very well versed in the, uh, Rock Drake right now. <laughs> not very well, uh, I'm not very used to the controls, is what I'm trying to get at. Oh, uh, but it's telling me there's a max level something nearby. If I remember right, there's it's something about up there. It's kind of in a higher location. Just try to avoid setting anything off if we can. What are we doing on stamina? Halfway through, okay. Grab this. Oh, that just distorts me so much in the first when I try to go into first person. This direction. I think it's down... I think it's this way. Oh, God, don't do that. <laughs> this direction. Ah, uh, that looks like that's the end of a cave, right? Let's just kind of keep going. Maybe not set anybody off if we can help it. Right up through this area, yep, sure enough, there is the end of the cave. <laughs> oh, there are a few things here, actually. I don't think there's usually this much right on the end. But they are on me now. So maybe... Alright, hold on. I'm gonna have to get out of my invisibility here for a sec. Alright, attack him for a moment. We gotta get our stamina back. I don't really want to have anybody causing us, causing us any trouble. Oop! I'm gonna have to land for a moment, but all of the stuff that was on the ground should... Uh, let's make... I did the wrong one. Light should be off now. We can be able to get over here without dropping down because our stamina runs out. Ugh. Yes, great. There is a feather, feather light right here. Oh, but those Megalosauruses did not give a crap about me. What level are you, Featherlight? A 30. Yeah, we don't want to tame that. A little bit too low for what we want. Those Megalosauruses are literally on top of this, though. On top of the artifact. <laughs> so I'm going to hit them. We have stamina now, so we should be okay. Kind of lure them off the side the best we can. Come on, Megalosaurus. You need to go off the side there, too. Come on. Come on. Good job. We'll take care of the scorpion and stuff over here real quick. Aw, oh, did I accidentally kill the uh, feather light? It looks like I did. That is unfortunate. Okay, I think we are clear. Just to hop off and grab this. Yoink. Thank you. I am so sorry, Featherlight. I did not mean to hit you as I was trying to hit everybody else. Maybe in the Megalosauruses, though, to be honest. I don't know why you didn't climb. Hello? Jeez, you crazy rock drake. Alright. Let's turn on our invis invisibility. 
I don't think that I should have gone this direction to get out. Actually, it's fine. Pretty sure we just kind of go out towards this direction of the waterfall and kind of follow it out. We can maybe find a safe spot just to land as well. That'd be good so we can actually get stamina back in worst case scenario. Like I said, this cave is... I mean, if you do this on foot and you don't use a rock drake, it would be a lot more difficult. And at the moment, since this is single player, the amount of creatures that are in here is actually pretty minimal also. Doesn't help that this is also my first time in here. So, it looks like it's pretty straightforward walkthrough cave. I mean, it is with the right rock drake, but... Uh, I figured we'd actually just come down and get this done. I'm going to have to come down and grab this artifact a couple more times. You know, I might have to do that anyway. There's no guarantee that I'm going to uh, succeed when we try to do the boss fight. Never a guarantee. Especially with Rockwell. It's a very interesting boss fight. That's a little bit more like the amount of creatures that there should be. They've actually spawned in, though. I'm just going to keep going so they don't actually see me and cause any trouble. But this is the exit. Very straightforward, very simple cave. Under the right circumstances. Definitely is the reason that I said that the blue cave is the one that I was most worried about. A lot more could go wrong there, I feel like. How are we doing on our armor, by the way? We're at half now? What was I looking at? <laughs> Why am I... Oh, because of the invisibility thing. That's hilarious, actually. Ooh, there's that yellow drop I was talking about. Oh, there was a reaper at it, though. I literally just remembered it as soon as I dove down. I don't feel like this is going to be a great idea. Go. Grab it. Go. <laughs> yeah, no, that wasn't a great idea. It wasn't even all that good of a shield. Oh, man. Wasn't it? No, it's a blue shield. I think I found an Ascendant one. Do I need to use those to actually tame Reapers? If you guys don't remember, I, I said a while ago that I've never tamed a Reaper. That is still true. I've still never tamed one in my life, so I don't know what I need. I know what I need to do, but I can't remember if you need a shield to do it. You know what I mean? Okay, Featherlight right here. What level are we looking at? So It's a 10. Whoop. They can see me, even though I'm invisible. We'll dash up here. Like I said, I need to focus on actually getting out of here because we are on limited time. We don't really need to be invisible anymore. I kind of was doing it because it's nice to avoid uh, a lot of suspicion. Problem with the feather lights is there's just always a risk of other things finding you. What level are you? 130. It would most likely still be two feeds, though, which is another problem. Because then I'd have to deal with everybody around here. And hope there isn't a Reaper underneath the ground. Oh, hello. Are you the one that I'm talking... that I'm... Is it 130? Yeah. Um... I think I want to try anyway. Hello, Featherlight. Can you land? That would be grand. Okay, there's one. <laughs> Please tell me you'll have a second feed very, very soon. I really like your colors. You're blue and orange, aren't you? Heck yeah. Did it say time to feed? Yes. Yes! Featherlight, come on with me. Let's get you inside of a cryopod so nothing happens to you. <laughs> all right. Despite the horrible thing that happened with all those cr those crabs, which I don't really want to talk about anymore, uh, at least we have a feather light, which is really cool. If we can find ourselves a high level female on the way out as well, that'd be great. But I think I may have to focus a little more on escape for a little bit. Hello. Oh lord. I tried to get it to do the jump thing, and it didn't do it. We are on the edge of the blue in the red zones now, Basilisk. Uh, let's see. I just wish I had a way to know that I could pull the... Feather Light away from death. That is a Pyromane. Definitely don't want to deal with one of those right now. Hello, Karkados. I'm mad at you. 
I'm very mad at you right now. Okay, well, maybe go down a little bit further this way. Oh, no, we're out of stamina. I've got my light on, so we're going to be attacked by Seekers, but not by the Nameless. Yep. And then we turn this off for a moment, so they don't get a boost. Luckily, it's level 5. Then we turn it back on. I saw a feather light over here. I think this is where the one I was looking at, though, that's only a level 10. If it's the same one. Getting a little low on armor, so we're going to have to be very careful here very soon. Are you still that level 90 male that I just saw, though? And disorientation camera, hold on. Okay, now we can go invisible again. Where does it say it is from here? That direction. No, 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 get out of this, get out of this. Don't, don't, don't be stupid. Dude. Oh no, Silva got killed. Dude! Get out of the element. Get out of the liquid element, you fool. Oh god, you got Silva killed. Dude, why didn't you glide? Oh, I'm sad about that right now. You know what? We're just gonna get out of here. I, I can't afford to uh, to risk this guy being dumb again and just not doing what he's supposed to. Why didn't you fly, man? I was holding the button for gliding, and you just fell in the friggin' liquid element like an idiot. Don't tell me that affected my armor. Okay, no. But we lost Silva, which really sucks. Well, that is definitely what I get for deciding to be greedy there for a minute. This Rock Drake did decide to kind of plop right into the el liquid element for... Whatever reason, I highly don't appreciate, but I can't really uh, put all the blame on it. Damn it. I feel really bad about that. Poor Silva. Didn't deserve to go out that way. She's been a very reliable light pet for a very long time. But we did make it back up to base safe and sound, and at least we have ourselves the third and final artifact for this particular map. I'm going to make up another gravestone because I feel really, really bad about how that happened. But at least these three are complete. And any other little runs into the caves that I'm going to have to do for whatever else, I might show in little clips, but mostly I'll just do that behind the scenes if it becomes necessary. I really don't know if it will, considering a lot of the stuff that we found. Most of the stuff I'll have to find are going to have to be on the surface, but uh, let's make up a gravestone for our lost friend. And there we are, Silva. I am so sorry about that. You will be missed. I really wish that that didn't happen. That's horrible. Oh, man. So, despite the tragic loss of our dear friend Silva today and the horrible failure of my attempt to tame a Carcanos, we still did procure ourselves a permanent source of honey as well as the third and final artifact to this map. I would love to have found ourselves another high-level female Featherlight down there, but I didn't want to risk anything happening, especially after Silva was lost. And uh, hopefully, in the future, we'll be able to get something put together with a mate pair for those. But for now, I'm going to have to leave that one there. So if you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you've got anything to bring up about this series or any other one on the channel, let me know in the comments below. If you want to help contribute to the channel a little bit more as well, we do have links in the description for Coffee, Med, Patreon. You can also become a YouTube member, and all of which will give you full access to our community cluster of ARC servers, where we are playing the island, Scorched Earth, and Aberration all together. I've had a really good time over there on my free time, and uh, I just recently posted a video just showing off a little bit of what we've done. And I appreciate everything that you guys do. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.